I'm coming out here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Please, I will um, request that as many of us that are around now, please just type your name so that I can see Rakib. Good morning, how are you? I want to see as many of us that are available now. So that, um, there is a slight um, change in the timetable, so I'm taking the place of um, mathematics. You still have your mathematics probably immediately after this. So please, I want to see as many of you that are around. I've only seen, okay, Clinton, you are welcome. All right, please, I want to see as many of us that are here. All right. Okay, Aziz, good. All right. Latif, good. Good morning. How are you, Latif? All right, let's um, go on. I'm expecting others to please log in your name. David, hello. I can see you, but you're not having anything. Hey, David. All right, let's go on, please. Good morning. Brahma, good morning. Salah, you know, I long time. All right. So, good morning, Brahma. Yeah, good. Okay. I guess, well, please, I will need everybody. Please, everyone needs to do this. So, at least I will know that everyone is around for this um, lesson. So, you know what to do afterwards. All right. Okay, David, I know now. Yeah, uh, yeah. In capital letters, David, good. All right. Okay, now let's go on to what. Um, we did last week. Others I will expect you. Are you All right. So please, um, good morning. Anifa, how are you? All right. Now let's quickly look at um, a quick revision of what we did um, last week. So you can't um, actually talk to me, speak for me to hear you. So we'll just go on and expect you. Good morning. How are you, Anifa? I'll just expect you to briefly. Please um, make sure you, uh, you you your make sure your hand is very free because I'm going to be asking so many questions so that you have time. So we're using this as well for the class participation. You have to participate in this very well so that um okay, it's my own Mustafa, good morning. So we have to participate in this regularly as well. So let us um look at what we did last week. Last week we looked at um um demand itself. We just did a quick real run down of um, what demand is. We looked at um, the factors that affect um, demand. Now, I will expect everyone, everyone to type at least three factors that affect demand. If you, don't, if you don't hear me, please let me know. Just signify or just... Okay. Now, please, I'll expect everyone, everyone, to type at least three factors that affect demand right now. Please do that right now. Three factors that affect demand. Three factors that affect demand. At least three factors. So please go on. You have a um, limited time, about a minute or 90 seconds to do that. Go on and do that. OK, I see two. Uh, there's only two you type there. Okay, okay, good, very, very good. You are very correct. That's correct. Um, okay, okay, and if I go on, yes, that's wonderful. All right, so at least everyone, please, I need you to type at least three factors that affect demand so that I will be sure. Uh, okay, yes, good. All right, so we'll go on like that. Make sure it comes in. Don't wait for all that before you start typing yours. Make sure you have yours sent in as well. Okay, good. All right, now I want to look at. 
All right, I'm receiving them. They are coming. All right, make sure because I have to note. Okay. Okay, so we are going to. Okay, now we may stop now. If you have not typed anything, just make sure you type something because I'm going to use it. We noted some names here. All right, face, price, and prices, and the rest, price, and depending on people, good expectation or uh, speculation. Okay, good. Now, everybody, let's go to what we have for today. Let's go to what we have for today. Now, let's look at our assignment. I gave you an assignment. I gave you an assignment from last week. Mm. Okay, we're looking at the topic elasticity of demand. Sorry about that. Just technology here. Yeah? All right, we're looking at elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand, just like what you see in your screen, you find um, rubber being stretched by a certain individual. When something is elastic, 
it means that item, that material can expand and contract. The item can expand and contract. The lesson of demand refers to the degree of responsiveness of demand to a change in price, change in income, or change in the price of other commodity. It means we have um, three types of elasticity of demand. That is what you have on your screen now. We have price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand, and we have cross elasticity of demand. Like I said before, prepare as you are going to be typing in answers for me. Now I will expect everybody to start typing the types of elasticity of demand that we have. We have just a minute to do that. What are the types of elasticity of demand that we have? Please, types of elasticity that we have. Okay, I won't listen. The types of elasticity, yes, I've only okay, I can only see. What are the types of elasticity of demand that there are? Income. I've just mentioned everything. I've not seen anyone mention everything. I needed to mention everything. Okay, yes. And um, all right, let's hold on until we have talked about a particular one. I know that some of you have really read ahead, which is very encouraging. That's very good. All right, please let's go on now. We are going to take it one after the other. Let's look at price elasticity of demand. We have three types. Let's look at price elasticity of demand. We have price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand, and we have cross elasticity of demand. When we say price elasticity of demand, it means okay, yeah, we'll stay. all right. When we say price elasticity of demand, we refer to a situation whereby, that is what you have here, price elasticity of demand refers to the degree or the extent of responsiveness of demand to changes in price of goods and services. What we are saying is that when we say price elasticity of demand, we are looking at how demand responds to change in price. How does demand respond to change in price? Demand may react favorably or may react or may respond unfavorably, depending on the angle we are looking at it from. And we have formula for calculating elasticity of demand, which is um, before you. ED here means elasticity of demand. ED here means elasticity of demand. Now, to arrive at elasticity of demand, to arrive at price elasticity of demand, please. To arrive at price elasticity of demand, it is going to be change in demand divided by change in price multiplied by 100. Or you can just simply say percentage change in demand divided by percentage change in price. I am going to hold on a while because you need to get this down. I'm going to be posting some questions here which I will need you to solve immediately. Which I need you to solve immediately and let me see your answers. So I'm going to hold on a while. You have to write this down. Percentage change in demand divided by percentage change in price. That's good enough for you. You may not write the whole thing, just write price elasticity of demand. It's calculated using the formula percentage change in demand divided by percentage change in price. That will suffice. That will be enough for us. Now, if you are finished, um, okay, 30 seconds more. I have 30 seconds more to write down one. Please don't forget why you are still writing. Don't forget we have three types of elasticity of demand. We have three types of elasticity of demand. We have price elasticity of demand. We have income elasticity of demand. 
and we have a um, cross elasticity of demand. We have cross elasticity of demand. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Just follow. There isn't anything that we have done. You are going to get it. Actually, there isn't anything that we have done so far that you, could, you can't get. But just hold on. We'll revise everything. If there's anything you missed from the beginning. So don't worry. You can always get it. Uh, I'm smart boy, so I know that. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. I believe everyone has um, taken that one down. So. We'll go on now. We'll go on. Okay. What we have done so far is um defining the last step of demand. All right, I'm taking that one again. I think we the, with the, with the define the last step of demand. I would say last step of demand. Is um the degree of responsiveness of demand to change in price, to change in income, and to change in price of other commodities. And we say we have three types of elasticity of demand. We have what we call price elasticity of demand. We have what we call income elasticity of demand, and we have cross elasticity of demand. Just some back. Some yes. Okay, please hold on, everybody. Okay. Please hold on, everybody. Okay, please start doing it. All right, thank you very much, everybody, for holding up. Okay. Okay, let's go on. Okay, so we have these are the three types of elastic of demand that we have. So, we want to look at price elastic of demand. The price elastic of demand is actually how demand responds, the degree or extent of demand responsiveness to lead to change or changes in price of goods and services which could be favorable or unfavorable. And I told you that you should write down this formula. You can only, you can even take just the percentage change in demand or the percentage change in price. It is okay for everything I want to do, same thing. Now, look at the last time, um, 10 recent there, we have absolute value, initial price, old price. Please note, when you want to calculate this um, elastic of demand, we are going to do it now. You are going to do most of it anyway. You have to write the absolute value. If the price of the item moved from 10 Naira to 15 Naira, all you have to do is 15 minus 10. There is no negative sign above. Don't put negative sign above as the nominator and put um, another one under. So negative sign will not be the no, it doesn't count in this case. We have the absolute value. Now let's take them one after the other. Then price elasticity of demand itself, just like what we kind of mentioned earlier, are of five um, types. Price elasticity of demand are of five types. We have elastic demand, inelastic demand, unitary elastic demand, Perfectly elastic demand, perfectly inelastic demand. I'll say that again. We have elastic demand, inelastic demand, unitary elastic demand, perfectly elastic demand, and the last one, perfectly inelastic demand. These are the types of price elasticity of demand. These are the types of price, price elasticity of demand. So we go to the first one, which is elastic demand, also called pay elastic or relatively elastic. Now, when we say elastic demand, it means demand responds. Demand responds more than the proportionate change in price. 
it means demand responds in a greater way than the change in price. That means demand is elastic. Demand responds. Demand is elastic. It responds in a greater way than the change in price. And when it is calculated, after computing it, which are going to have a problem, that means the task ahead of us are going to solve together, you find out that the answer you always arrive at will be greater than one. One point something, 1.0, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, above one. Any number that is greater than or above one, it means demand is elastic. Please don't write. Please don't write. I've told you, I'm going to send the, this to your email. Don't write. You don't have to write anything. Please don't write anything. Please don't worry. I'm going to send all this to your email. Don't write anything. You don't have to, just listen and follow what is going on. Just listen. You don't, you don't have to write anything. I'll send this to your email. You can quickly do a screen grab if you can do that. Then we'll send. I promise you get all this in your email or printed out. So you don't have to write anything. Go on, do a screen grab. At the end of this class, I'll find a way. There will be an email address posted. Then you can send your um, notes in. Then I'll send the um, notes across to you so that you can have them. Don't worry, that will be done. I promise that will be done. So let's go back to what we have. We have elastic demand. Elastic demand means demand responds. Demand is elastic relative. If the percentage change in point demanded is greater than the percentage change in price. That is an example. Price has changed by 20%, but there is a 25% or a 30% change in demand. If price has changed by 20%, but in the, case, in, the, in the reaction to that, there is a 25%, 30%, 50%, 80 or even more than that change in quantity demanded. That means demand is elastic. Demand is elastic. Now, there is um, something I want us to look at. All right, let's look at this um, together. Look at the example of... Um, Elastic demand. Now look at what we have there. A sudden change in price of tin of milk from 10 naira to 12 naira brings about a change in demand from 100 units to 60 units. The change, the change in price is from 10 naira to 12 naira. Now this formula. What you are going to do is um, take the formula, percentage change in price, all over percentage change in, sorry, percentage change in demand, all over percentage change in price. That is the formula you are going to first take. Then we solve. You solve for demand and you solve as well for price. When you solve for demand, this is the way to go about it. Now, if I'm going to, I want to, Go to slide and show. I believe I can do that. All right, from current slide. All right, now let's do this. Okay, I think it's better this way. All right, now this is the problem. A sign change in price of tin of milk from 10 naira to 12 naira brings about change in demand from 100 units to 60 units. Calculate the price elasticity. Of demand. This is what you always have to calculate the price elasticity of demand. All right. So now to calculate the price elasticity of demand, all you have to do is first state the formula. Formula. You state the formula. Percentage change in demand all over percentage change in price. That's what you do. That's the first thing you do. Then you go about it. Now you notice we are solving for change in demand first. We are solving for change in demand. We have a movement from 100 units to 60 units. So this is what you do: 100 minus 60 divided by 100, which is the original price, multiplied by 100, which is just the percentage, which will give us what we have here: 40 over 100 multiplied by 100. 
which is just um, 40 percent. Percentage change in demand equals 40 percent. Percentage change in demand equals 40 percent. Let's move somewhere. Roderich, I'm going to remove you. Sorry, I want you. Okay, please hold on. I'm just trying to. Please hold on. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. So we have that is uh, just simply calculating percentage. Now we do the same for price. You do the same for price. As I've calculated for demand, we go ahead to solve for price, to know the percentage change in price. We are told the price changed from 10 Naira to 12 Naira. The price changed from 10 Naira to 10 Naira, so to 12 Naira. So now what has happened? We find that the percentage change in price is 20%. The financing change in price is 20%. So we go on to now divide, that is, according to our formula, percentage change in price, sorry, in demand, divided by percentage change in demand, which is going to be 40 divided by 20, which will give us two. Now, this is an elastic demand situation because the coefficient, the answer that we arrived at is greater than one. This was stated initially. The answer that we arrived at is greater than one. So please note the answer is greater than one. So that means demand is elastic. That means demand is elastic. That's how you arrive at um, elastic demand or in elastic demand. Now let's look at what we mean by inelastic demand. Let's look at inelastic demand. Now, inelastic demand is a situation whereby the degree of responsiveness of demand is lower than the change in price. That is, price has changed probably by 30%. But the change in demand is lower than 30%. Price has changed by probably 50%. But the change in price is less than that, but probably 45%, 40%, or even 20%. By that one, when you calculate it, the coefficient of a lifestyle of demand that are going to arrive at will be less than 1. You have 0 0.9 something, 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Anything less than one means demand is inelastic. Anything less than one means demand is inelastic. Let's look at uh, an example of that now. All right, please, let's go on together. Okay. All right, please, let's guys, guys, uh, All right, please, uh, please, I want us to look at the questions. All right. Okay. All right, please, let's look at the questions together. All right. Don't worry about um, the, all you have to do is uh, just follow this. I, I promise everything, even all these examples, you are going to get it as, a, as your email. I'm going to print this out or send it to you as an email. So let's look at this example together. Now, a noticeable change in demand from 100 units to 80 units. A noticeable change in demand from 100 units to 80 units was discovered to have been caused by a change in price of the item from 10 Naira to 15 Naira. 
Now the task or the challenge is um, calculate the price elasticity of demand and state the type of elasticity. The first thing to do or the first step is um, state the formula. State the formula. Percentage change in demand all over percentage change in price. Now we are solving for demand, which is the number of items bought. We're solving for demand. Now, what we have noticed is that the demand moves from 100 units to 80. From 100, the initial, the old price, sorry, the old demand or the old price will always be the denominator. Will always be the denominator that is that one that you put under in the, when you want to divide denominator. Please let's note that. Now we are given this calculate the price elasticity of demand and state the type of elasticity. Now to calculate for change in demand, we first do what 100 minus 80 divided by 100 times 100. What we have there very simple 20 over 100 times 100 which will give us 20%. Which will give us 20%. That's what we are going to have there. To give us 20%. Now we go the same way. We solve for price. The price moved from 10 Naira to 15 Naira. From 10 Naira to 15 Naira. So we do, do it the same way. Just look at the answer because something they are asking for some function. Okay. I don't answer. Mm. Okay. Miriam, Miriam Suleiman, okay. Can you be specific? I just need you to be specific on the particular part you want. No, we are going to go over everything together when I'm doing the recap of everything. But if you can just give me a specific place. But let's go, let's do this one. Let's start this one together now. Let's tie this one together now. Okay, let's tie this together. Okay, now, yeah, Miriam, please, let's do this together. They, in, in elastic demand, yes, I get it now. I guess it's now. Now, when we say in elastic demand, all we are saying is that demand does not respond. Demand does not respond proportionally to change in price. Demand does not respond proportionately to change in price. So this is what happens. The change in price is always greater than the change in demand. The change in price is always greater than the change in demand. So, if, can we stop the private chat, please? I would advise we stop the private chat now. Let's focus on this so that we can get it. Let's focus on this. We we'll come back to the chat. I've not asked anybody to do anything yet. Now, please, let's leave the private chat, and I'm sorry, the chat, and come back to this place. Now, if demand is lesser, the, the, the change in demand is not as much as the change in price, it means we have an inelastic demand. Demand is not responding according to the percentage change in price. It is just the opposite direction. Demand is not responding according, is not responding in the same way. Now, from the example that we have before us, percentage change in demand is just 20%. It's just 20%. Whereas when we look at the percentage change in price, it is 50%. The percentage change in price is 50%. From this alone, we can see that the percentage change in price is greater than the percentage change in demand. This quickly tells us that demand is inelastic. It's not responding in the same way that price is changing. That one by inelastic demand. 
So we'll go on with um, solving it. Now we'll go on with solving it. Now, we've seen a positive change in price is now 50%. Now to compute for elastic of demand, what we'll do is um, percentage change in price which is 20% divided by percentage change in price, sorry, in price, is going to be, when we calculate that, we're going to arrive at 0 0.4, which is less than one. The coefficient is less than one. That means demand is in elastic. Demand is in elastic. That is what it means. When the coefficient of the demand elasticity is less than one, it means demand is in elastic. Please, that is um, what that one means. Now, I want to quickly look at um, the diagrams that represent each of them. Diagrams, we are going to look at it even far, even better when we come back um, to the school. But it's better you see it ahead of that time. Now, in this diagram, what we have here is that there is one that the size of the quantity demanded is bigger than the size of the price change. That is from P1 to P2 is smaller than Q1 to Q2. That is the one to your left. If you look at it, the one to your left, P1 to P2 is not as wide as Q1 to Q2. It means the man is elastic in that place. Now, if you look at the diagram to your right, you find that, okay, please, I'm, go on and type your question in. I'm here with you. Go on and type your question in, Jean. I can say that, please go on and type your question in. All right, so for the other side, which is on your right, you find that the price side is wider. That means the change in price is greater than the change in demand. That was simply means. The change in price, do, we are going to take it again. Don't worry, the diagrams, I understand, Chidera. Diagrams, are, I'm going to put some notes on that when I'm signing them to you, so that you understand better, even better than this. So don't worry. So, but what, the, these are diagrams that we have. What we want to look at is, um, look at the price side. I'm not looking at the elastic demand diagram now. Look at the place where you have P1, P2. The place that you have P1, P2. Similarly, I can see your question too. The place that you have P1, P2. Can you see that? Now, compare the place that you have, compare the margin between P1 and P2 with the margin between Q1 and Q2 under, where you have quantity. It is obvious that that portion between Q1 and Q2 is wider than the portion between P1 and P2. It is, it is wider. That's what we are trying to explain with the diagram. Please look at it again. I'm looking at the elastic demand. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, now you can get it. Yes, thank you very much. Now what I'm saying is that in this case, the diagram shows portion P1 to P2, to P2 on the y axis, the portion Q1 to Q2 on the x axis. Now, if you compare the two, P1 to P2 and Q1 to Q2, you find that I'm looking at the elastic demand, please. You find that Q1 to Q2, the margin in between those is wider than P1 to P2. That is what you have. You have, that means demand is elastic. There is a wider change in demand than the change in price. There is a wider change in demand than the change in price. So by the time you have an inelastic demand, you find that there is a wider change in price than the change in demand. It's just a reverse when you have elastic and inelastic uh, demand. I see we'll still find a way to um, do this. Okay, thank you very much, Jira. Thank you, that's good. All right, now, 
Unitary elastic demand. Unitary elastic um, demand. When we say unitary elastic demand, what we simply mean is that the change in demand is equal to the change in price. If there is a change in price, the exact percentage of the change in price is the same as the exact percentage of the change in demand. If price goes up by 10%, it means there will be a change in demand also by 10%. That will mean by unitary elasticity. Unitary elasticity of demand representation whereby the percentage or the proportional change in demand is the same as the percentage change in price. In other words, a 5% change in price will lead to a 5% change in demand. Yes, yes. Miriam Suleiman, you are correct. Yes, it's still under price elastic of demand. Unitary elastic, yes. It's under price elastic of demand. You are very correct. Okay, now let's go on. So unitary elastic of demand simply means the same percentage change in price and change in demand. They are equal. So what happens is that the elastic uh, coefficient, the elastic of demand coefficient is always equal to one. After computing it, you find that the elasticity will be equal to one. Now let's look at um, what we have here. Let's look at the challenge that we have before us here. Let's look at what we have here. Let's quickly solve this one that we have here. Let's solve it together. This is um, a good example. Let's quickly solve it together. Now, the example says, a withdrawal of subsidy on agricultural produce brought about a change in the price of a kilogram of cotton from 200 Naira to 300 Naira, which led to a change in demand from 1,000 kg to to 500 kg. Now we are asked to calculate the elasticity of demand. Calculate the price elasticity of demand. State the type of elasticity of demand. This is what we simply do. We first state the formula. We state the formula. Then in you may try to solve for price first or demand, but I only prefer to solve for demand first. All right, we we'll solve for demand. The initial demand was 1,000 kg. It has moved to 500 kg. So 1,000 kg, which is the initial demand, will be the denominator. Will be the denominator. So we have 1,000 1, minus 500 divided by 1,000 times 100. It will give us 50%. It will give us 50%. Now, let's solve for price. To solve for price, price of the commodity of cotton was 200 Naira, but later moved to 300 Naira. So 200 Naira, which is the original price, is going to be the denominator. 200 Naira, which is the original price, is going to be the denominator. So we look at it. We look at it that way. We now say, OK, 300 minus 200 divided by 2 divided by, by, by 200 times um, 100. Please, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, all right, if you don't hear, please check from your own um, side, or probably the network. If you don't hear, please check from your side, probably the network. I'm sorry about that. Okay, then the last year of demand, what we find that there is a 50% change in demand and also there's 50% change in price. So what we simply do is that we bring it together. Let's say of demand is going to be percentage change in demand divided by percentage change in price, which is going to be 50 divided by 50, which will give us one, which goes to the definition that we have. The coefficient of unitary elasticity is always one. By the time you divide the percentage change in demand by percentage change in price, you have to arrive at one. 
If you arrive at anything less than one, it means demand is inelastic. If you arrive at anything greater than one, it means demand is elastic. If you arrive at anything equal to one, it means demand is um, unitary. That means you have unitary elastic demand. All right, I can see. All right, please go on and ask your questions, please. Go on and ask your questions. Do you have any questions? Um, I don't know if you can say anything. Let me ask you. All right, so it means um, you must arrive at one regularly. Now, please, um, this is meant for everybody. So quickly put this one down. Quickly put this one down, everybody. You need to write this. You need to write this now, or do a screen grab. You need to write this or do a screen uh, grab now. So I'm going to write this or do a screen grab. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, please go on. Get this now. Okay, okay, I get that now. All right. Now, you need to solve this now. I'll speak up more, but we are rounding up now. You need to solve these ones now. Please solve now. We are rounding up. You need to solve this now, please. All right. All right, I expect you to solve this now, please. And I want to see the answers coming in from the chat. I want to see the answers coming in. Whoever has finished, not this one, please. Not the assignment. Don't take the assignment yet. I need to solve this. Due to a change in the location of the fan, the price of this product changed from 10 era to 15 era. We led to a reactionary change in demand from 400 units. So. Who has finished that? If you have finished the first one, let me see your hand up. Let me see your hand up. You have finished the first one. All right, who has finished? I told you to solve that, please. Okay, good, good. The posts are very good. All right, what's the answer? Send the answer in, please. What type, what type of velocity of demand do we have in the first one? Okay. Okay, okay. All right, we are rounding up now. So, all right, that's very good. Everybody, please take this down. Take this down now. Okay, very good, very good, very good. I like it. Now, please do a screen grab of this one. Do a screen grab of this one. I am going to post uh, the email address. All right, you have um, the email address. All right, all right, you have the two email addresses that you can submit the answer to. So from there, 
Yo. All right. The email address have just been um, sent now. You should have it now. So please make sure you submit this and the assignment, which is um, the last thing. All right. Make sure you submit. This is the assignment. Go ahead and copy. All right. Go ahead and copy this as well. Go ahead and copy. These are the. Make sure you do the first one. Make sure you take the first one, which is the calculation side. And then. Okay, Fatima. Okay, hold on. Hello, sir. Please come. The email. They say they can't see it. The email. The email. Is it is right in front of Don't no 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 you have to sorry it's like this. Okay. Oh, no. now you can read. That's, 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 okay, I'm sending the email again. That, um, All right. I think um, I think it is. Um, do you have the email addresses now? Okay, that's good. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll be expecting the answer, the response from that. Thank you. Bye bye.